Talk to Shadow versus Santana on Skype not too long ago. And um, yeah, shout out to you, homeboy. Hey, you guys want to add me on Skype? My Skype is literally in the description below. It's the same thing as my goddamn channel, Deshaun R. Show. So if you want to add me on Skype, be my guest. I reckon with everybody that's subscribed to me, you know, I, you know, I respond to most of you, all of you basically. Well, I got time, I respond to you. So if you want to chat or video chat, hit me up on Skype. But um, what I'm about to say. He pointed out something about Naruto. It like in a panel where he said I should have went. Madara said I should have went um, the same way as you or that same direction as you went. Where he would talk to Hashirama and you look at the panel directly. It's where I I seen like it would fade away like he doing Izanami. Now if he were doing Izanami to rebirth himself. That would be badass, but it, I think it would take a tremendous amount of chakra to. Use the Izanami, and I don't think he got no more chakra. I mean, he got nine goddamn tail beats extract from his body, so I don't think Madara can move. But it'll be it's a pitiful it's a pitiful way that he died. Though this is the most pitiful way to kill off a great villain. He should have got killed some other way besides this. And if this this truly the end, it's the worst worst ending I ever seen for a villain. Trust me, it's just pitiful. But that one the prediction he did do is a and get back up because it seemed like Sasuke about to run over and kill him or could Sasuke be praying on taking his eyes who knows also um we ain't get no they ain't disclose no characters like being like free from the technique anyway we ain't seen nobody so hopefully this episode or this chapter they gonna um, talk to the other characters we're gonna see all the other characters are alright and we just gonna you know they're just gonna cheer Sasuke and Naruto and Sakura for saying the word. At least at least that what we think getting of because it seems like he, Kishimoto is wrapping it up. It seems like it's the end and this is what we're gonna get. However it's a lot of things that that we crescent though. One, what going on with the castle in the other world. Two, who are that other figure standing in the castle looking at people? I mean he was in the other dimension looking at everybody so is he left in the dimension three? Who? Why did Tenshi drop the seal? He dropped the two seals thing, which he got caught in the Sikiyomi. So, why that was there? Is Hog Hogurimo brother inside that seal? And I think I quite sure that um, Adora headband fell directly on top of that. So maybe we might have a final boss. Maybe Kishimo might do something for us fans that are mad for Cargill being weak as fuck but hopefully one of these theories will come true next week tell you guys thank make sure you guys rate comment and subscribe and yes this 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 is this is a Thursday video however I'm gonna post it on Friday and uh, cuz I don't want, I mean honestly I, I did too many videos today so some of the video from Today gonna carry on to tomorrow. That's this is how it is. Cause I can't. I want to spam you guys with a little ten to twelve videos of me. You know. So look at the ones that are already up and check this out Friday afternoon, I guess. But anyway, oh also, make sure you guys check out Music Week Driver Value One. This is not a manga. For those who think this is a manga, it's a story. It's a book. You see that? It's a book. Yes, it's an actual novel. So, if you want to check this out, the um, the um, ebook is in the description below. It's, it's you could click the link to Amazon. You read a sample of it. You like to sample, purchase the book, support your boy, and have a good one. Peace out.